I'm good. I'm just it's going. I'm gonna say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaku Das. I'll just do this actually. It's alright. It says I only got 40 minutes on here. I probably gotta delete something. Like I said, all praises Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaku Das. Double honors to them, my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We picked a fine time to come outside and teach it. <laughs> We're out in the wilderness. I think, what, next week we might go back on the streets teaching. That they're supposed to open the city back up. But who knows? Well, I was just listening to the radio. And actually, I was just talking about it. Uh, I was just listening to the radio. They got the little radio shows. And a lot of people was calling in, you know, pretty much saying they fed up with this coronavirus shit. They're, you know, talking about they're not going to take the mark of the beast and the Bill Gates microchip. They're not gonna, they don't want it. They said they don't want the test. People are saying they, the test probably got corona in it. You know what I mean? Like we were saying, though, you know, this coronavirus shit don't woke, woke up millions of people. It don't done, well, I don't want to say woke them up. It, it alerted, it alerted uh, millions of people to the fact that the mark of the beast is the microchip. And they can see that the mark of the beast is the microchip. Now everybody's talking about microchips in the mark of the beast. That's become a household word. Like we were saying like three months ago. Hey, just get the mark of the beast scripture unless you have something else first. Yeah, read this. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Okay. He, he said uh, people waking up. It's, uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33 says, When it comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Oh, see, they're going to know a prophet's been among them. We've been warning people for years. We've said, we didn't even warn them about a virus, man. We warned y'all about that. We said that they could use the virus to give you the chip or uh, economic crash. But you see, they came with an economic crash and the virus at the same time. You know? This devil, man, is slick with his shit. Well, he thinks he's slick. What you got? It's Revelation 13 and uh, 16. He calls us all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead. Yeah, that's that microchip. Oh, did you see the uh, part two of the Elon Musk with Joe Rogan? No, I didn't see that. Joe Rogan, cause you know uh, he interviewed Elon Musk like months ago. But Elon Musk came back on the show again, and he was talking about the brain microchip. Well, actually, Elon Musk... He, you know, he came out against the coronavirus. He he came went on Twitter or something. He was like, "Give us back our goddamn freedoms." He was losing it, and he even said, "Well, he was talking about the brain microchip," and he said it actually disappointed him, it's like or something like that. But you gotta go watch the video. Go watch the interview with Joe Rogan and uh, Elon Musk because I mean he's really into that. Uh, well, he he owns the company what Neuralink. You've heard of Neuralink. That's one of those microchip companies. But they're working on, he said you drill a little hole in your skull. You you know, you drill a hole through your fucking skull. Then you, you hook up a bunch of wires to your brain. And then, and you'll never know if somebody has that brain chip either because your hair grow back over and everything. So that's some real shit, man. And that's what that book of Revelations is talking about. He said they're going to put a mark in your right hand or your in your forehead is they're going to be uh microchips for the hand and microchips for the brain did you hear about bill gates that said he want to have a digital currency based on that microchip uh, was it recent yeah recent a yeah, cryptocurrency he wants a new cryptocurrency that's going to go hand in hand with that microchip It's gonna be kind of like bitch. Uh, I said bit, bit shoot. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. It's gonna be uh, similar to Bitcoin. Like only so many. Uh, the way Bitcoin gets its value, only so many Bitcoins can exist at one time. Like you can't, you can't create like new Bitcoins, right? Yeah. You know, you know the Mer uh, they got fiat currency from the federal government, mm -hmm. and the federal well not the Federal Reserve. You know they can print fiat money, but like Bitcoin. They, 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 you can't just create new Bitcoins out of thin air. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why they're going to have that new cryptocurrency based on humans. Oh. So they're going to have to keep the human population to a certain level to keep the value of the money. Mm -hmm. Let me see what y'all doing, man. 
Yeah. It's uh, Second Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, uh, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, so we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Mm -hmm. One of the devices is that microchip. Oh, sh fuck a coronavirus bullshit. It's all garbage-ass coronavirus shit. Vaccines. The vaccines. And you got all these, man, that's some crazy shit. Hey, what is it? Is that a big ass beehive? Come I'm on. tripping. Nah, it's not. Yeah. Hey, we, we, you know, we, we, uh, we ain't ignorant of that shit because we know that, like, because they just came out of a report, whatever, that said uh, that, uh, that, that some of the virus, te the, the fucking test, or whatever, had the actual virus in it. You know what I'm saying? Plus, oh, that African country. You see yeah. the African president? He took oh. a bunch of coronavirus tests and he tested goats and shit, and they was testing positive. We said goats and shit was testing positive. Because, you know, the kits had coronavirus in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was just on the radio. I heard uh, that they're, they, here in Columbus in Ohio, well, I don't know about the different cities, but they just said on the radio they're going to randomly test a 1,000 people in Columbus for uh, coronavirus antibodies. So they're just going to randomly select people, you know, to get this test. And they can inject you with some shit with that test. I guarantee you some people are going to refuse that test. Unless, unless that test they're going to do some bullshit too. They're just going to say they did it. And they ain't really do no fucking test. You know what I mean? You know how this devil does it. All of his numbers is fucked. Everybody sees it, bro. Everybody can see that the numbers don't add up. Don't none of them numbers add up. Yeah, uh, Sirach 13... Uh, let me shake, let me shake. Uh, there's a lot. So I'm gonna read. Oh, we just go ahead. We we out here to read. <laughs> it says, uh, I'm gonna start at, I'm gonna start at, uh, two. It says, uh, let's lock it. Let's lock it. Start one. <laughs> it says, he that touches the pitch shall be defiled therewith. And he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. Uh, burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest. And have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself. For how for how agreed the kettle and the orphan pot together. So yeah, that's Esau, this nigga don't give a fuck about. It. He's rich. Trying to hang out with Esau. Yeah, yeah. Trying to run his ways and shit. This nigga don't give a fuck about uh, us peons as they call it. You know what I'm saying? So he You got a lot of Jakes like that. They try to, you know, buddy buddy with Esau. Yeah. All just like Jake in the entertainment world. They think they 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 on the uh, level of Esau in this world, you know what I mean? And they always end up getting fucked in the ass at the end of the deal. You like you always see these uh, Israelite entertainers. They end up being broke as fuck when they're old, you know. IRS always end up robbing them, taking like Wesley Snipes. IRS got him. Uh, what's my girl? Uh, Lauren Hill. IRS got her. You know what I'm saying? Well, R. Kelly, they, they deserve that name. Oh, uh, R. Kelly, yeah. He don't own his own fucking music no more. God damn, dude. Yeah, that nigga dirty. Hey, most of them artists don't own their own music. See? Mm -hmm. They just trying to hang out with people more richer than minor than they get fucked in the ass every time. Yeah. You hear all them stories about artists getting ripped off. Mm -hmm. right. it says, uh, for if the one uh, be smitten against the other, it shall be broken. The rich man have done wrong, and yet he threatened it with all. The poor is wrong, and he is he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. Say he'll be for your profit, he gonna use you. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how they do you too. They just gonna use you. Yeah. yeah that's the, uh, what's it called that that depopulation shit. A lot of these people are just completely fucking worthless, so they just gonna kill them off. Yeah, cause they see worth like they can get some work out of some of us. Yeah. You know, put us in the fields, have us building shit. Yeah. I mean, that's what we doing, right? When you go to your job every day, you just, you, you I mean, America's a corporation. When you go into, I ain't gonna say where you work, but say you work in a, uh, in a warehouse or something, you you just doing some bullshit, bro. What is yeah, stacking yeah, shit? Yeah, right. <laughs> you really don't even know what this shit's for. It's like you just there working, but the motherfucker that runs it, he getting paid. You know what I mean? You just you just working, getting paid nothing, just to get some devil rich. You know what I mean? This is some shit is garbage. It's pretty much slavery. This is a sur what's it called? Serfdom. 
Sir, you don't know the surf, the uh, <laughs> we're serfs, yeah. slaves. Sorry. That shit is slavery. Mm -hmm. I mean, the same motherfuckers that was rich back during the slavery times in the United States, they's the same motherfuckers that's rich now. The same fucking people. They the ones still running shit. says uh, uh let me see if, if thou have anything he will live with thee yea he will make thee bear and will not be sorry for it it says if uh if he if he have need of thee he will deceive thee and smile upon thee and put thee in hope and put thee in hope yeah. hey they, <laughs> they 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 playing with people's emotions with the coronavirus remember they gave y'all hope yeah. a month ago yeah. they told what was it they said uh april 30th no they said may 1st yeah. They said May first, we're free, or oh, they just say because they they don't want you to know, let you know they just put you in fucking they put the whole state of Ohio on fucking house arrest pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So they they kept saying April first, April first, you're gonna be free. April first comes and they's like, nope, sorry, Psych. May thirtieth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what what's the date today? It's like fucking May something. Ten, eleven, twelve, something like that. This is getting late in mid-May. And they still ain't open shit back up yet. They claim they're going to start opening most businesses up soon. But look, if you do open a business, like, you see this bullshit? Like, you go to a restaurant, you got to, they're going to do social, they're going to keep that social distance and shit forever. You know what I mean? This is devil, man. This, I mean, that's good, though. Like, you see that shit? Like, these restaurants, a lot of them, if you want to have tables close together, you got to put up a plastic divider in between the tables. That shit's stupid. Now, how stupid is that? Yeah. You might as well stay the fuck home. Yeah, God stay damn. the fuck home. God you damn. might as well order the shit and just eat that shit at the crib. Like, God damn, what's the point? That's just fucking awkward. You got to wear a mask when you go outside. That's not, like, what, what the hell is but that? But I see, you know, most people don't give a fuck about the social distancing. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. first, if the people were scared. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm at the stores. I went to a few stores, you know, the past week. Man, people was all up on me in line. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you know how crooked as shit they be saying. You go in yeah. this, you go in, you can't, can't come out this way, you go in that way. Yeah. Niggas, sometimes niggas don't give a fuck. They just run. They just don't give a fuck. They just, they just like, man, fuck your shit. When we got time for this coronavirus shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit, man. That shit's stupid. The main ones you see still wearing the mask everywhere is the woman. Yeah, yeah. The fucking woman and some simple-ass cap and save a hose. Yeah. But uh, was the, my job made us wear the mask and shit. Oh, it, it, you can't even breathe in the motherfuckers. It's, 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 everybody, everybody complaining like, I don't wear this stupid ass shit. And then, then, cause we like, we try to be slick and like put it on our chin and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the LP or like, people in desks and shit, they be walking around. Oh, put you gotta put it on your face, whatever. You gotta do like that all day. And it's like, damn. Like I remember I walked in, I was walking back in, cause I came from my car and I was eating. He said, you gotta put that, you gotta put that in your mask, you put the mask on your face before you come in. I'm like, damn, bitch, can I eat? That shit, that shit don't make no damn sense. How the hell are we supposed to wear a mask, but on break, we need to take it off so we can eat and drink? What's the fucking point? That's just stupid. That's why, man, I, somebody, the Lord gonna put somebody to death for this. Yeah. Esau, Esau got it coming for this one. That's crazy. Man. This is some bullshit right here. You talking about fucking with people. You fucking with people hard, man. Yeah. Hey, 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 that just shows you he going. He that shows you that he can force laws and make people do shit. So that's that's him forcing uh, the chip because he's forcing everybody to wear masks, wear gloves, and yep. and to, to take before you go into your job, get scanned so you can see your temperature. So how much more the chip? Right, man. Because I was just thinking about it on the way over here. It's like shit. My job might be like shit. If you don't get the vaccine or get the, uh, yeah. you might shit, we might have to let you go. Yeah. Like you can't work here. New government rules. Man, if my my job tell me that, bro. I'm like, so, nice man. knowing you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good riddance, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, good riddance. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Oh, that shit could happen, man. You can already see it. Well, certain companies like super sellout places, like who's really in bed with the government. You know what I mean? You could already see them forcing either forcing you to fucking get a vaccination or a chip or. All, you know what I mean? There's already some companies that have been made their employees get microchips. Yeah. That's what the dude was telling me at the uh, the, uh, the uh, job about the mask shit. He said, he was trying to explain to me, like, yeah, you're on your face because I'm sorry. You know, the government, he said, we got to do it. So 
I mean, you know, trying to talk me into it and shit. All right, man, whatever. The funny thing is, though, people are so dumb, they don't realize that if everybody just don't wear it, then what are you going to do? So, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I tell you, man, these people, they in a deep sleep. So, yeah. It says, uh, he will speak thee fair and say what one is thou, and he will shame thee by his meat until he have drawn thee tri drawn thee dry twice or thrice. Drawn thee dry? Yeah. That's how Esau will try to he try to get you that. What's that called? He gonna use you up and throw you away? Mm -hmm. Gonna use you up that's what they do you with these fucking jobs. God damn. <laughs> what what the fuck do you do with your life, man? You just working, busting your ass every fucking day. Tired as hell, you know what I'm saying? You can making this little measly ass little money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really got shit to show for your money. Shit, half your money goes to rent, car insurance. You know what I'm saying? You just you just working, working, working. You know, just wasting your life away working for what? You can't, you can't get no enjoyment out of this fucking life. You just fucking work and work, and this devil takes all your money. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. And I tell you, America is some bullshit. Here it is. This is a country that was supposed to be founded upon people did not wanting to pay taxes. That's pretty much why they fucking broke away from England. They didn't want to pay taxes. They didn't want to listen to the king of England. But now look at all the taxes we're paying. You're paying over 20% of your check in fucking taxes. And they take it out before you even get it. They just take it. That's crazy. They be taxing the hell out of people, man. Sorry. Oh, dude, plus, yeah, you, they taking all them taxes. They take out the Social Security tax, the Medicare tax. But here it is, you paying all that money in the Medicare, Medi you see the government, he about to cut that Medicaid shit. And Medi whatever the fuck it is. Sorry. He just did that, like an $800 million budget cut. Mm. He cut in schools, which that's really good. Oh, see, look, they already said that with this coronavirus shit. They said here in Ohio, next year, I seen they was throwing it around saying students might only go to school for two days a week next year, and the rest going to be on the computer. Curse. So you already know, you already see they're gonna probably going to cancel their sports and everything, bro. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to keep this thing going as long as they can until they get everybody microchipped. But this just could start a civil war. Some of this last week they killing all the animals and shit and farms. And all that yeah, shit. Yeah, we was just talking about that earlier today. Yeah. Was I talking oh, I was talking about oh, my other dude with that. I was at work, I was telling this dude about that. About how the farmers the the government is pretty much forcing all these farmers to kill all their cattle. And not even do nothing, just kill them. And nobody even eats them or nothing. You know what I mean? I guess because uh they they claim some people caught the coronavirus at some meat processing plants or something. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, so actually, I, this is obviously like a in, they're trying to engineer a fucking famine. That's what they they want this famine to happen. You already see some Wendy's ain't selling hamburgers. You see that? Yeah. I mean that was a big story to news. So they trying to, they trying to make this famine happen. They want it to happen. Why else would you let? Why else would you force farmers to fucking slaughter all their animals? And nobody gets to eat them. They was forcing farmers to dump out all the milk. They said they was gumping at, dumping out tons and tons of gallons of milk. Stupid. You know what I mean? They just making them dump it all out. I tell you, man, they're trying to force this famine. Instead of giving everybody fucking $1,200 to give people food that, that farmers can't use. Esau, it says, uh, when he sees thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. Beware that thou be not deceived and brought down in thy jealousy. For if thou be invited, a mighty man withdraw thyself, and so much the more will he invite thee. Press thou not upon him, lest thou be put back. Stand not afar off, lest thou be forgotten. Afflict not to be equal unto him, and talk, and believe not his words. This is the main point. One. It said, believe not his words. Oh, that's the wicked man. So, 
when you watch him, Mike, Governor Mike DeWine, bro, you ain't believe it in a goddamn thing he says. Or it's that dumb bitch, Dr. Amy Acton. She done turned into a national hero or the, or the, the fucking liberals and shit. That Dr. Amy Acton bitch. And they was just going to, uh, the, the Ohio Senate here was just, I don't know, I think it did pass. They was trying to pass a, a law trying to limit her powers. Because they said she had too much powers. She said, you know what I'm saying? She, this bitch shut down the whole goddamn state. Where'd she get this power? But the governor, Mike DeWine, said he gonna veto it. He said he wants her to have that power. But yeah, that Dr. Amy Acton bitch, she fooled a lot of y'all. She ain't fooled me. But they, they turned her into a national hero. You know what I mean? I didn't believe a goddamn thing the, the bitch says since day one. She said people believe, because she gets up there, she talks with a smooth voice. She used to talk, oh, the coronavirus, just wash your hands. Oh, we got a social distance. And she says it in a sweet, soft voice, and people's like, oh, she's so beautiful. She cares about us so much. And that's 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 how these people, bro, they deserve death. They so easily, y'all are too easily fooled out there. With much communication, we can tempt thee and smiling upon thee. Smiling upon well, it's the devil for you. He's smile. He's he'll smile at while he's killing you. The smiling upon thee will uh, get only thy secrets, but but cruelly, cruel, cruelly, cruelly, he, he will lay up thy words and not spare it to do thee hurt and do and to put thee in prison. Observe and take heed, for thou walkest in peril. Thou yeah, he gonna on. he, he gonna put us in prison. So what if you don't want to get that uh, market of beast? They might start locking people up in prison for spreading conspiracy theories. You know what I mean? They might call you, oh, you a terrorist. They could call, they could label us terrorists for being on the streets teaching. They going out. Well, we actually we already been labeled terrorists, according to that. Was that the uh, Pro Project Megiddo? That's going back about twenty years ago. They labeled us as terrorists. Thou hearest these things awaken thy sleep. Is what it say? Awaken out your sleep? Yeah. Hey man, so that's one thing, like I said again, this coronavirus thing is doing. It's bringing more attention to us for one thing. You know, probably a lot of videos getting a lot more hits now. Even uh, the elder Tahar said that. Because he got a popular channel, so. He get a lot of more hits now since it's crunk. Now people looking for answers. Mm -hmm. They they looking for answers. They worried about that mark of the beast now. Yeah. Now they think about salvation. Now they're scared. Yeah. Cause they wasn't scared three months ago when everything was cool. You know what I'm saying? But now they scared. They looking for answers. Some of y'all ain't gonna find no answers though. Hey, but scriptures. I mean, if you're sincere though, I guess. The Lord said, if "You seek, you gonna find." Oh, you got the scriptures? Oh, I'm just okay. one-handed over here. Well, what you, what oh, you no, want? no. I'm just saying. Oh, what you want? You say you want to? You get no, it. go get oh. what you got. Right. I didn't want you to think I was trying to be lazy. Sorry. Not getting no scriptures. Sorry. I'm holding the camera. Sorry. And so behold, the days come, says the Lord God, that will send a famine in the land. You're going to send a famine in the land. Like we say, you could already see they're trying to engineer the famine. The Lord going to send a famine to all. Oh, you see the fucking goddamn locusts mm -hmm. over there where they're flying through China and shit? All through, the, all through Asia, locusts is going wild. You know, locusts do, they eat the crops. That's crazy. So you can see this famine's coming. But they gonna shut all these fucking economies down worldwide. It's, the goddamn shutdown has caused more deaths than the fucking coronavirus. I think they already said it's been already, the shutdown has, has already caused more deaths than the coronavirus already. I was watching some show, they was breaking it down. I mean, how stupid is that? And then, how stupid you gotta be to believe this shit? Oh, we gotta stay home. It's for your safety. Ryan, have you seen anybody sick yet? Like sick, like motherfuckers is out. I ain't, I ain't seen nobody sick, bro, at all. I don't fuck with a lot of people either, though. But I've heard people that that work with get sick. I mean, 
different areas. I never seen one person. Like, you know, somebody person I know, man. Oh, I made a video the other day. It was for a. Uh, I didn't. It was for a different thing. But I was, we was reading. I was. Uh, we was reading the Columbus Dispatch. And uh, we was looking at the, what's that shit called? The fucking, where all the dead people's at? Um, uh, no, in the newspaper. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that is. The, the fucking, the goddamn mortuary section. Is that what it's called? What's the section of the paper where all the dead people? I don't read that shit. Fuck, I done forgot what this shit was. It's been so long since I read a newspaper. But all, but all the dead people they were showing, in, you know, they tell you everybody to die in the city. It was all old people, like 80, 90 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah. None of them. So that's the only people dying. Is, and notice ever since the coronavirus happened, you don't hear about nobody having heart attacks no more. You know what I'm saying? Every death is corona. It's all rona. Oh, so you got the rest of that? Said, uh... Not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but of hearing the word. Oh, it's going to, yeah, as soon as, yeah, it's going to be a famine of hearing the word. Hey, they got the famine of that, uh, because we didn't go on this. I mean, you can still watch the videos right now, but, because they said we wasn't supposed to be gathering outside or whatever. And we can't go downtown and teach right now, and then nobody's going to be out there. All, all the businesses are shut down. And so they ain't, people ain't really seen us on the streets in a minute. But it's gonna get worse soon. Like I said, they gonna they could outlaw it, so you're not even allowed to go out and teach no more. Cause uh, I seen in New York City, the mayor banned protesting in New York City. You see that? So what we do would be considered protesting, wouldn't it? They banned protesting in New York City. That's like in the First Amendment. How you ban the First Amendment, bro? I thought that was your most beloved amendment. So that made us, well, New York City, they're the first to do everything because they already banned guns. You can't have a gun in New York City. You got to jump through some hoops and shit if you want to get like a concealed carry or something. Ain't nobody getting that. I told you I went to New York. I went to jail for three days for having a knife this big. Like, damn, I ain't never coming back here again. Y'all motherfuckers. Never again. Fuck New York City. But that's just the motto of the whole country. But they banned protesting. That's the First Amendment. So they done took away everybody's constitutional rights. You got another? You got more of that scripture? Or is something else? Uh, it says, they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to east. And they shall run to and fro and seek the word of the highway and shall not find it. Oh, they gonna seek, they're going to be running to and fro seeking the word of the Lord and they're going to find it. Hey, you should have got it while the getting was good, man. Was the Lord said, seek me early? You're supposed to seek the Lord early. Really, y'all should have been on these videos. You know what I mean? You should have been searching for the truth. Because people, they don't want to do nothing until... Because they, they thought shit was all good three months ago. You know, three months ago, everything was gravy. Why they got to worry about the most high back then? They was good. But now they get scared because of the coronavirus and the vaccines. Now they're getting scared. Yeah, them motherfuckers still ain't giving crazy to the most high. Nope. A lot of people making them videos talking about the chip. They don't want to say, oh, this, this is in the Bible. They, yeah. Like, remember I told you, my dude at work, this nigga, he, he's Asian, whatever. He's Jake, though, but he, he believes in Buddha, whatever the fuck they believe in. But this nigga. <laughs> nothing? They believe in nothing? Yeah. <laughs> this nigga tell me about the chip. He, he don't even know what the fuck the chip. He don't even know where that even came from. If I ask him where where where, where you uh, know, I, no, and they call it the mark of the beast. Yeah. They call it the mark of the beast. You know what I mean? But it like if you it, right, you warning people about the mark of the beast and you talking about you know you know what I mean? How you gonna warn people about the mark of the beast? You don't know what the fuck it is. No you pretty much say, Oh, you just hearing what somebody else told you. They just repeating. They yeah. can't tell you what scripture it is. That's an easy scripture. Yeah. That's a a, a beginner scripture. That's the thing too, that's that's, that's crazy. Uh there's another dude that worked. I was cool from for like for a minute ever since he'd been there, but I never knew that he was like he knew about the Israelite thing. Cause he was asking me, you know, and we, I told him like I believe because he asked. I told him pretty much I believe the 
to use a so-called black whatever. And he's like, yeah, be there too, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, he believed that he believed that nigga comforter, whatever. And yeah. Rain Grant, he believed that that he was the comforter. Oh whatever. shit! Yeah. And then, but now I, I told him about it, whatever. And then he looked up videos and he studied himself and he finally came to it. Like, yeah, you're right. That nigga ain't the comforter. But he he said he asked the dude that taught him about the truth, the so-called whatever, yeah. the truth. And then dude said the dude didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. And he, I guess the dude was in supposedly reading the truth for like fucking uh like what was that like eight nine years or some shit. He don't even know no scripture. Yeah, and he said he said he he's actually he said he was asking the dude like so what about this what about that and he said oh just, just come to just come to the uh to the uh to the uh, to the class you know blah 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 and he said man you've been in this for this long you don't know what the hell you're talking about. A lot of people are like that. Yeah, it's like, I mean, God damn. they just <laughs> part of a club. Yeah, because really a lot of them you know like with like them other Israelite groups like I don't even know what company's group is the Israelite yeah. Church of Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. or something. Yeah. That, yeah, when people that they just join in a clan or a club, yeah. an Israelite club, they, where where knowledge is not really required mm -hmm. or encouraged, study is not encouraged. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just, just being a, a just blind obedience—that's all that is required. Yeah. And that's the same thing with the churches too. Yeah. You know what I mean? People same thing with the churches. People go up in them churches. Studying is not required, nor is it encouraged. Gotta be a mockingbird. Pretty yeah, much. just be a mockingbird. And really, it's a club. They are not going there to get the scriptures. People are going to church to hang out with their friends, to drink coffee, eat cookies, eat a little meal. Like, oh, hey, how you doing, Bob? Yeah. Oh, it's been a while, <laughs> y'all devil. <laughs> some people got to go to church. They get forced by their Oh, mom. yeah, the mom and dad make, oh, I, know, I knew some kids like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, man, I was forced to go to church as a child. Some of it was fun, but uh, yeah, because it was fun. Why was it fun? Because we didn't learn shit about the Bible at church. We used to go have a, uh, we go to a park like this. You know what I mean? We used to go to the YMCA park. Oh, that shit was dope. They got this big ass slide. You go down. You been on that slide? Nah, I ain't that's what. Yeah, that's what we did at church. We got on slides and shit and fucking played games. Oh, you took Whitehall one? No, it's a uh, oh. YMCA. I think it's Black Lick. Oh yeah. Or something. It's over there by Groveport or something. They got this big ass slide. I don't know if it's still there. This big ass slide you get on you, you get like a cardboard box with some wax paper. You just go, but we used to always go there with the church. You know they have the potluck dinners. Cause I was grew up a Southern Baptist and I was forced to go with my mom. But then she became a Methodist. Like she, they don't even know the difference between Baptist and Methodist. It's like they think, they think it's all the same. That's pretty much all the same. What a Methodist are believing. You know the difference. Uh, Methodists believe in fucking what's that thing called? Arminian Arminianism. You know what I mean? The Methodist.